Hi folks, I always like to say that there are many different possibilities when it comes to automation. Once you start to understand the full potential of automation, then you can really realize everything that you can automate on your current processes. But when I say the full potential of automation, of course, that I'm not just talking about automation tools. As I always like to tell my clients, we work with three different layers of automation. The first layer is automation too, right? So Zapier, Make, Workado, and many others. The second layer is APIs and webhooks. The third layer is custom scripting. When you combine those different layers, that's when you start to see the real potential of automation. If you just stick to one or other layer, you are limiting the potential of every process that you can build with automation. So let's dive in. I'm going to show you an example of each layer. So the first layer is automation tools, right? So that's the most common one that definitely the easiest one to start building your first processes, your first automations, but you're always going to be limited to the apps and to the endpoints that the automation tool connects. So as an example, if you want to build an automation using Make or Zapier or any other automation tool, you have to select one of their apps, right? And not only one of their apps, but one of the triggers or actions for that specific app. So let's say that you want to build an automation using Airtable. You, of course, you have the connection with Airtable um, here on, on Make, but you can only select one of these actions. So you have the two triggers here, and then you have these actions. Again, you are limiting the amount of different steps that you can do using Airtable, right? And of course, the more apps the automation to connect it to, the better, the more possibilities you can work with. And that's why it's important to use automation tools that has a bunch of different apps like Zapier, like Make. Zapier has more apps than, than Make. But anyways, even Make, you have uh, many, many options when it comes to, to apps, okay? So that's the first layer. So let me go back to our table here. So you connect one, one trigger using one app and you connect another app, let's say Slack, create a message. So that's that's the first layer, right? So you can connect two apps that's, that has a ready connection to the automation tool that you're using, and you are selecting the trigger in the action that is available to you here on the automation tool. That's the easiest one. That's the fastest way to build any automation. But not every app is connected to automation tools, and not every endpoint is available in the automation tool. So using the example of Slack here, so let me select. You have many options here in terms of triggers and, and actions that you can do using Slack, but their API documentation has many, many other options. In that case, if you wanna, if you wanna use an action that's not here, you can select this option here, make an API call. So that's when you're going to select the URL of that endpoint from the API documentation. And you can choose here the method, if it's a get, if it's a post, if it's a put, and the body and the string of that API call. Okay. But maybe you're going to use a platform that doesn't have the connection to make. So here it's like this case is a platform that does have the connection to make, but doesn't have the action that you need specifically. So let's say that you want to build an automation using a platform that doesn't have the connection here on make. So in that case, you have to use, sorry, you have to use the HTTP option available here on make. Okay. Again, you can still use make or Zapier to, to connect to the API documentation of the platform that you wanna you wanna automate, right? Um, but you're gonna have to use this HTTP module here to make a request. In that case, you need to add the URL, you need to add the method, and you need to add the authorization of that app. Here, in this, in the case of Slack, as I'm already connected to my Slack account, 
I can skip the authorization part of this API call here. So you have the headers here, so and you have these notes. You don't have to add the authorization. We already did that for you because I already have the connection to Slack. Here, you have to pass the authorization ready. And of course, that's going to depend on the platform that you are connecting to. That, that varies, but it's usually a, an API key that you can add here too. So let's say that you want, you want to add the API key and then you can add the value of that API key. And then you can go move to the string, to the query string. You can either select the name and the value of the string here, or you can write a JSON body type here. Okay, that's another layer. Again, you can still use make, but that, that's going to be a little bit more complex because you have to understand how to build the API call using the API documentation of that specific platform. So here is the example of Stripe's API documentation. So usually, of course, this is going to depend on the platform that you want to you want to automate. But here you have the different methods. If it's a post, if it's a get. Usually for the get, you are just retrieving an information. I mean, the post, you are doing an action inside the platform, right? And this is the URL that you need to add there, here, and the different, the different strings, the different values that you need to pass here on the, on the body of the API call. Okay. Again, if the platform has this type of API documentation, and has the action that you need to do there, great. Then you have the option to automate that platform using the API layer, okay? Okay, but now let's say that you want to automate a process and that you need to use a platform or website that doesn't have the direct connection to automation tools and doesn't have an API documentation. How you can automate that? In that case, we go to our third layer, which are custom scripting. Okay, so let's say that you want to automate a process of scraping, getting data from Indeed or adding data to Indeed, creating a, a job position there. So let's say you want to you wanna do that. How do you do that? Like Indeed doesn't have an API documentation, neither has connection to Make or Zapier or any other automation. Tool. So in that case, you have to build custom scripting. To build custom scripting, you need to have the knowledge of Python or JavaScript, okay? So you need to understand how to build a script using those languages. Usually those are the best ones when it comes to custom scripting to automate this process. Of course, that this is more on the backend, so you don't have an interface for that. You can, you, you should just write the code, but what the custom scripting would do is basically simulate a human behavior. So let's say that you want to automate the process of going find, let's say, a full-time job at Houston. You want to do the search, and then you want to scrape all that data. You want to get, you need to click on this job position. You need to scrape the monthly, the monthly salary. You need to scrape the location. How do you do that? You do that with custom scripting. So basically the scripting will simulate everything that you are doing here. All the clicks, all the text or the inputs that you are adding here, all the click of a button and also the scraping part, right? Of course, not all custom scripting involves scraping. You can, can build a custom scripting just to do some clicks, just to input some data or text or whatever you wanna do on the website or platform, okay? But that's possible to do also with custom scripting. Okay, I hope you liked the video. Hope you now have a better understanding of the different layers of automation. And again, everything that automation can do and can automate uh, when it comes to processes, okay? If you need help to understand your process and understand what's possible or not to automate on your company, please click on the link down below so we can get on a call and I can show you how you can automate and save many, many hours with the power of automation. And if you're not there yet, just click on this link here to watch a video show you how you can build your first automations. Thank you.